Hi everyone, I'm going to show you some work it's going on in my backyard. Sorry the dogs have decided it's very exciting that I'm out here and doing some work. I'm going to move some more of these papers over to here sort of thing. Ready so that I can get this area paved. My plans are that where the shed door is, I'm going to have a path to it. And on either side, I'm going to have a garden bed. And the one on the left hand side will be closer to the shed than the one on the right hand side because I need the door to open for the shed. Sorry if you can't see me on the screen. I'm just trying to um, point out how I'm doing things. So this is just a little bit of a garden update. I have already started shifting some pavers. Sometimes it's, I'm doing jobs and I'm wondering why am I doing it for YouTube because it's not worth the hassle by the time you set up the camera and do it, the, the job could be done in half the time. Anyway, I'm going to show you some of this uh, and I'll do it for as long as I can. Um, I had a rough night sleeping, some neighbours decided to talk until about 4 o'clock in the morning and then I couldn't get to sleep so I was on the tablet till after 5. And I finally got to sleep around 6 and slept till half past 7 and it just took me a little while to get out of bed. Anyway, it's after 9, I've got to do this before it starts getting too hot. Swan Hill is heading for a top of 32 degrees, which I think is somewhere in around the 90s in the Fahrenheit. By the sounds of my feet, looks like I'm going to be deep prickling my shoes at the end of this session. Anyone who stood on Legos will know what it's like to stand on a three corner jack. Especially when your barefoot is not so bad in shoes. But standing on them in bare feet is a real kill. Missy, you don't like standing in them, do you? I hurt your little paws.
I'm sorry. I know, I'm getting rid of your sun basking spot. Missy and Yada used to sit on here in the middle of winter and get the morning sun and warm up. Well, I'm not going to get that much longer. If you're wondering why I'm leaving the pavers on the bottom level there, it's because I've had these pavers sitting here for about five years. I just haven't had any money, energy, and motivation to finish up getting the paving done. And so this year's the year because I really want to get the veggies growing out here in the backyard. Save some money. Is the pallet's broken, and I don't want my dogs to stand on the nails coming out. It'll be a pallet for the wood burning pile at the archery club. attention to me. I've had her since she was about 12 to 14 weeks. I got her Christmas 2010. Actually it was a couple of days before but I had lost my dog Parker earlier in the month. He got hit by a car out front and then a week later my cat who was still living with my parents um, got hit by a car and went missing and mum and dad couldn't bear to tell me so when mum was telling our boss, the local walls officer who was in charge of school crossing supervisors and the pound he said there's a lovely little dog out at the pound that would suit Narelle and that's how I ended up with Missy she was called Minnie in the pound but now she, I call, her original title is Missy Moo Fidget Williams, because she's a bit of a fidget bum. She won't sit still. Yep, Missy, I'll take your prickle out in a minute. Oh, you got it out, did you? Slowly getting up top of the weeds out the back here. If you're wondering why I'm turning over some of these papers, it's because they're upside down. And I want to get them ready so that they can just be laid as soon as I get the rest of this area sorted out. The more work I can do myself, the less my landscaper does and charges me for.
done and I'll come back when I'm a bit more finished just so that YouTube will let me upload it because YouTube won't let me upload it more than 12 minutes. Okay, I finished moving the pallets. I'm taking, I've taken it off the tripod. So I couldn't, the pallet was too heavy for me to lift. So I'll have to leave that till I can get someone stronger. Um, and so I just put this cut piece of paver over the top of the nails so the dogs don't get hurt. And so there's my red ones and the stacks of cream there. And they're close to this corner, which has got to go around this water service, which I really don't like here. Because right there is my laundry and my tap. And this would have been a better place for my laundry door. Um, the way this unit has been designed has been atrocious. Anyway, I've done all I can do outside. I'm going inside to have it clean. Have a shower, change into something and so I can wash these clothes. Oh, look, Yoda's... Missy and Yoda found this old doorknob and they've been chewing on it. So, they're having fun. And the carpet is here to try and cut down on the heat coming through the pavers, but get a strong wind and it just blows everywhere. So, when I can get sorted out and clean up after the dogs, um, I'm going to try and move these the carpet again and I'll stick some pavers to it those small stacked pavers just there on it in strategic places so that it um, will hold the carpet down. Now, sorry about my neighbours, they're now on the lawn. So, just hang on a minute while I flip this camera so you can see me. Hi, so if you like this video, click like, subscribe, click the bell notification so you can get my new videos. Sorry I'm not a very big um, video uploader. I plan on changing it this year because I would like to get to 1,000 subscribers by my 40th birthday in May. I'm not going to tell you what date. If you're a friend with me on Facebook, you'll know. So, have a good day everyone. It's, I don't know, about half past nine, quarter ten in the morning on a sunny Swan Hill day. And I'm about ready to head back to bed but I'll probably have breakfast first. Sausages, tomato and egg. Looking forward to it. So once again, have a good day. Click like, subscribe, and see you around.